Money Disrupt 2023 coverage is brought to you by our sponsors, Dynex Coin, Hyvon, Conceal Network, Alfium, Jingle Mining, Yeti Audits, Deep Miners Pool, The Beginner's Block, Doge Lord Coffee, and WhatToMine.com. Check out our sponsors linked in this video's description. Uh, well, what's up, guys? I'm Crypto Mikel. We are here at the Logotech booth. Uh, so, man, what's up? How you doing? What do we got going on over here? All right, so uh, basically we took our MPW silicone from Global Founders. Okay. And uh, we were able to put it on our test board. And uh, you can see it right here. That's basically our, our little bread and butter. I mean, that's what we're going through. Debug single process chip? right now. Single chip. And it's uh, once, we, once we make it through validation and the debug process, so basically what we're wanting to prove there is that the silicone functions as the simulations uh, we're showing. Okay. And then once that happens, it basically scales linear. So right on. I mean, you just, it's basically going to be like uh, a lot more compressed, but uh, 255 of those is one the peak time. Right on. And that's kind of when, uh, I'm assuming the hash plate is kind of what that, yeah. is what that follows into. Exactly. Okay. So what exactly is this unit right here? So this is actually for uh, testing how fast we can push our ASIC for our AI block. Um, we're expecting about one peta op uh, per second, which is quite blazing fast. But at the same time, we have no clue if that you know if we're going to be able to reach that or not. We have to have real world testing for the commercialization. Right on. But we're uh, we just want to see how fast we can push it right now. Right on. How far away are you from uh, creating an actual like functioning hash blade? Like that's well, once up and running. Once validation takes place, then uh, we're basically on it. Like we've already started designing the commercial ASIC, and we'll be tweaking it off the uh, results from the validation. Okay. So, so what's your uh, successful. right on? What's your total wattage for? For one like one unit like this, just this board oh, well, right this here. Oh, this is going to be a lot higher because I mean this is basically in the kilo hash, and you're basically using a lot of watts because right. it's, a, it's, a, it's for testing. You know, okay. you're basically seeing if your design functions as promised. Is there a goal that you're trying to go for in mind for like a watt per tera hash kind of yeah, or a watt no, per I mean, kilo I mean, hash? The, the simulations have shown that it's going to be about, around like 0 .067. Uh, okay. But with the other components on the hash blade, that raises it up about 10, 15 percent up to uh, like point zero seven two six joules per mega hash. Joules per mega hash. Right on. For and, the commercial ASIC. Okay. And so the hash blade is just going to be a singular. It's a singular device, right? There's yeah, not there's right. not multiple blades in a in, in no, a unit. No, no, it's just a, it's basically a component. People can buy however many they want. You buy one, you slap it into your uh, gaming PC, and that extra PCIe slot. Okay. And then we have two eight pin auxiliary uh, plugs on top. You can use an eight pin or six pin uh, to power the system. And, you know, download the driver and mine from there. All right. So basically, it's just going to plug into either an existing PC or uh, maybe even retrofit it into maybe a mining rig uh, yeah, yeah, that used to be. Or yeah, so, so they, would they be... We want to reuse the infrastructure that's already out there. I mean, would you we, be able to got... use a, a hash blade on a riser itself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? But you have to have external power because you can only right. pull about... In the 75, first, yeah. Pull, yeah. 75 watts. Right. So. But with adding the extra power plus the riser, it still yeah, yeah. could take place of a GPU to yeah, for sure. to perform other functions. Well, that's so. what we're wanting. People can just take out their seller GPUs, buy, you know, buy our hash blades, slap them in, now you got some power. So. That's an interesting way to go about it, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's uh, it's very beneficial to people that have a lot of infrastructure. Right. Because, I mean, updating from a GPU rig to a bunch of ASICs is quite, quite right. expensive. Like, yeah, so. it really can be. Um, Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate your time and talking about it. Um, do we have a time frame yet of when we can start seeing products after, to be released? After for... validation, we'll give a more set time frame. Okay, so. cool, man. All right. Well, I appreciate gotta, it, man. Ask the tech team. Let them get their work done first. Right on. Uh, I appreciate it, man. Well, I thank you for your time and talking about the project. Hey, so it's a pleasure, man. It's good to meet Definitely you. Enjoy the conference. Hey, thank you.